So you want to know how to make snow, but you don't know how to make a cold front. So I guess you're watching this video. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender once again because you're not Santa Claus. You've tried, but every single time you try, someone calls the police. So you're learning how to make some snow. Congratulations, you've taken the next step of becoming Santa Claus. We go ahead and hit delete on default cube. Hit B to box select and drag a box over top of all this crud and hit delete because we don't need none of that foolishness. I'm going to hit shift A and add in a plane. This plane's going to hit uh, S on my keyboard and just scale it on up like that, something like that. Then hit S, Y because we don't really need to be that, that long. Then uh, G, Z to move it on up like that. And I'm going to hit R, X, 180 because the plane was facing upwards. So the particles would actually go up and then fall down, which is not what we need. So now it's just fa facing straight on down, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and hit this little button right here for particles and then hit this little plus button so we can add them. Now you can see if I drag this on open, hit play, you can see that particles will fall. But we're not trying to make rain, so we got to do some stuff. I'm going to change my start frame to zero because, you know... And uh, we're going to go down to uh, field weights and turn the gravity almost all the way off. Now, we're going to have to play this to get it right, but it'll be something something like that, perhaps, right? And now we can change the lifetime to 250. And right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and add a camera back in. I hit 1 on my numpad. Hit Shift A to add in a uh, ba, 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 camera, and then just G, Y to move it backwards, and zero to go into, zero to go into the uh, uh, camera's view, then just G, double tap Z to pull it backwards whenever you need to, about right there, looks good. Now, I'm going to select the plane up here, and we'll do a lot of stuff to this, so I, I want to go ahead and change the physics, we'll go ahead and turn the Brownian or the Brunoian, it's up something high, but this is probably too much, like something like... 10 is way too much. We'll do 6 instead. We'll do 6, maybe 5, probably, actually. So we'll do 5, see what that looks like. Um, and I also want to do uh, some stuff with uh, the actual velocity here. So we'll turn the velo the randomized for the velocity up to maybe 0 0.0 or just maybe 0 0.1 in general. So 0 0.1, perhaps. And then we will go ahead and turn the normal for the velocity down to maybe 0 0.0. Uh, point, uh, one, point one, maybe, I think, something like that, so the snowfall is snow slow, okay, uh, something like that, yeah, I like that, looks good, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit slower than that, point zero three, yeah, point zero three, and then we'll probably turn the field weights down some more, so instead of point zero nine, we'll do point zero four, and that's probably going to be good the way that it is. That's some snow right there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn the number of particles to maybe 2,000. I want a lot more snow than this. I want a blizzard. I want to not be able to go to school tomorrow, okay? So we'll do 0 0.05 for the randomized, most likely, and then 2 for the brownie or the brunoian, whatever the freak. You know what I'm saying, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add some actual particles now because these things... They're just halos. It's just what Blender uses. You can't actually see anything when you render it. So hit Shift A. We're going to add in uh, a couple of things. You can actually either make snowflakes um, or which I have, which I'm probably going to make another video about if I haven't already. I don't know if I might post this one before that one. So I'm not, I'm not sure. But still, make a video about snowflakes. You guys can probably check that out if it's up already. <laughs> It'll probably be at the end of this video if not. But um. Uh, you can make snowflakes or you can just use regular circle, which is what I'm going to do. We use a circle, but before you click anywhere else, we go ahead and add circle. Uh, nothing to end gone, so now you can actually see something. And then GY, move it back behind the camera's view. Then RX90 to rotate it. Select the plane. Uh, scroll on down, downsize all this stuff because we're going to need uh, Close it, rather. Render. Render as. We'll go to object. And then we'll choose the instance object of circle. And then we'll go ahead and hit object rotation. Now we're all set to go. I can go ahead and turn um, the uh, randomized scale, the scale randomness, all the way up. And then the scale down a little bit. So maybe 0 0.02, something like that. And then we'll go to render viewport shading. I will go to the background and change it to solid black. right? And then with our circle selected, this guy right here, I will add a material. This material 
will be uh, principal BSDF, and it'll be white. What am I doing? It'll be white. Now, we can't see anything because it's not an emission shader, so I'm going to go back to solid viewport shading, and I kind of want to have a cool little angle going on here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rotate our camera, so I'm going to hit RX, rotate it upwards, and then hit G and double tap Z to move it in, and then GZ to move it down like this, move it down so you can't see the plane, and I kind of want the snow to come up at us, so that's what I'm kind of doing. Now, our camera should look kind of like this now, RZ and RX and RY and whatever, what else, you know, stuff. Just getting some nice rotation on there. Now when the snow falls, it kind of is coming down on top of this, which looks pretty cool, right? So you, you can you can tell the difference just slightly. Uh, it does it does come down a little, a little differently. It looks a lot better. Now what I want to do uh, to end this up is to add in some lamps. So you could just use an emission shader by going from principal BSDF to emission. Um, but I don't want to do that. I want to add in a lamp. So shift A lamp point and then i'll go ahead and turn my overlays back on uh now that one's in the center i want to hit shift d duplicate these in random locations we'll just put some around in some various places like there here and here and here i don't even think you can see that one no you can't but we'll move it right there and then one right here one right here maybe and then here uh now this is going to help us out uh by lighting the snow up so when it passes it it's going to get brighter there which is going to look so cool so when this falls down now you can see um, black background, uh, rendered, there we go, you can see that now we should be able to, well, we have to go ahead and pause it real quick, so now you can see some of the snow, but now I need, we need more lamps, because the lamps that we currently have aren't enough, very obviously, so I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate these lamps all around, so you can see it just easier, you see just more of it, and I don't want to let's light the whole scene, because that's gonna evenly light everything, I want this to be very unevenly lit, um, so we're going to go ahead and just duplicate some more of these lamps around. One right there, maybe. Kind of get it in the front, rather. Because there's too much stuff in the back there. Um, one right here. Just try and get some nice places. You can see when we go back to rendered, turn my overlays off, you can see we have this nice kind of snow effect. And I think these particles are still too big. So we'll go back to uh, scale. And maybe they're, not, maybe, maybe they're not that big. Maybe we just need more. We need maybe more. 5,000 particles, perhaps. Uh, there we go. So now what I want to do is uh, it takes a while for them to come into the frame though. So let's go ahead and actually is that, that that's right, right? Yeah. So it takes them a while to come into the frame because we have them falling from from down there. So what I want to do is I kind of want to make this plane rotate it a little bit like this RX and then hit GY and move it just down a little bit. We'll move it down so it kind of goes like this. I don't want to move the camera up because that's going to get rid of our cool angle. So we'll kind of just do something like this. Have it all come down. That's too close, though. They don't have enough time to spread out. All right. So something like this is probably good. Snow's coming down. I like it. I like it. I kind of liked it before because the snow came down like super slowly. So I'll just leave it the way that it was, to be honest with you. I'll leave it up there, unrotated. There we go, because the snow came down kind of slowly, and like a couple pieces just fell down. Really cool. That's going to be it for today's tutorial. We can have a lot more particles. We have a lot less particles. I want to turn the field weights down some more. So we'll do 0 .00, or just 0 .01. What does that look like? 0 oh, yeah, that's some snow if I ever saw it, man. That's some snowy snow. Yeah, pal. We'll do number 10,000 particles. Why not? 10,000 particles. Might want to watch out. Don't do too many. Your computer will... Crash. We'll do point zero zero five. Uh, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Now the in frame needs to be turned up to maybe five hundred now, and the lifetime five hundred as well. So we'll do that. Now that's gonna be it for our uh, uh, snow tutorial. Happy holidays, boys and girls. I'm gonna change this to emission. Uh, emission. Just so you can real quick see the difference. That's the difference. If we had this on emission, that would be what it looked like. Not the best. Um, it would be fine for, you know, some things, but I, I, I like the ambience. I mean, this is great for a lot of things, yeah, sure, but I like the ambience of the, you know, not all the way lit up snow. It looks much more realistic to me. Uh, it just looks better uh, and, and, and just more pleasing. So I hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that stuff. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.